Hi, this is Mrs. Alexander, and I'm making this short video clip to show you how to use the Project Lead the Way testing service FastTest.web. First, you need to open up Google and have all other websites closed out. Go to the search engine, type HTTP dot dot backslash slash assessments dot PLTW dot org. You just try to do assessments, and without the HTTP, it will not work. Press Enter, and it'll take you to this screen. You will have a test code with the username and password that you'll be given before the test. Enter that. For this um, application or this video, I'm going to just enter a generic one that will let me use it once. I'm going to log in. This is where you put your first name, your last name, your date of birth. Note, the date of birth is the year followed by the month followed by the day. So this is born May 10th, 1985. Yes, for those of you wondering, that is my real birthday, and I'm actually recording this video on my birthday. Once you've submitted, you need to make sure you've read the directions. Um, you're going to do a Project Lead the Way test that you can take in two settings or in one. Uh, I'll tell you the day that we take the quiz or the week before that, that you'll see if you're going to do it in one sitting or two. This is just a practice test, which consists of five total questions, two items in one round, three items in another, just to show you how the system works. At the top, the first two questions show you the part two, the second um, the second section has three questions, questions three through five. So that tells you how many questions you have per section. And then there's info buttons between. When you click on the info button, it'll tell you, oops, you need to answer the first two questions first. So let's start with the first two questions. Again, these are not all necessarily EOC, Project with the Way. They're just generic questions to help you understand how to use the software. No, the section at the top right hand corner tells you how many minutes you have left of this time. So for the Project Lead the Way EOC, you will get 40 minutes for each section. That's as of um, May 2016. We'll see if that changes in future years. So as your time counts down, you only have that much time to take the test. You have buttons on the bottom, save and quit. That is used if there's a fire drill or if you get um, sick all of a sudden. You're not really supposed to use that unless there's an emergency. You can go back, you can review your quiz, and you can go next. When you're finally done with your questions in your first section, there'll be an option to go ahead and submit your quiz. So let's just guess which body system includes pituitary, thyroid, and adrenal. This is actually something we've learned in PBS this year, so we're going to click that and we're going to go to next. The next question asks you to understand an L-channel beam and answer the question. So let's just pick a random answer here, B. Let's go to next. Note, I have finished both questions. If you look at the top, it's going to ask me, are you sure or do you want to go back and review? If I press no, then I can go back and review my questions. Notice it says that I'm done with one through two. It marked out number one and number two as I did them. So let's see what happens if we press review. If we press review, nothing happens in this case because we're still able to go back. Okay. Once you are done with the first two questions, well, in PBS, it's like the first fifth, uh, the first 25 questions out of the total 50, you cannot go back to the first section once you're finished with it. So once you press, you are done, you no longer can go back and review. Stop. You have completed section one. This is when you will be told if we have enough time to go on to section two, or you would do save and quit if you're going to resume this quiz on the second section. For this case, we're going to go back, we're going to go ahead and go next because we're going to do the second part in this little example. Notice numbers three through five have highlighted and we're on the third question. Let's say we want to skip that. I can go to four. Do you see how I skipped three and I didn't answer it so it's in yellow. Let's say I go to question five. Um, the reason three is yellow is because I press review at the bottom. So if I go to 4 and I press review, it'll mark it so that I can come back to it later. So let's go back to 4. Let's say I, I read this and um, I click D. It shows me that I've answered it with a mark through. Back to 3. It's still, yeah, number 4 is still yellow because I've still marked it for review. Review is the button you use in case you want to like go back and check to see if you got it right or not. Let's just pick an answer for number three, let's go to five, let's just pick an answer. 
which diagnostic test would be Okay, now if I click next, it'll say once you finish this section, you're unable to return it. Are you sure you're right? Let's say no, let's go back. Um, if you want to go back and click the review button again to undo it, yeah, like, okay, yeah, I know that's my answer. All right, that's fine. You don't have to unclick them to unreview them. They can be yellow still whenever you're done with your test. So the main features here are the little eyes are instructions, and then the questions at the top tell you how many questions are in that section, and underneath it tells you how many questions, what question you're on. Strike it through when you're done. It'll turn yellow if you have reviewed it. That's how you use the system tools. Um, this doesn't really give you practice questions. It just explains to you how to do use the system tools. It says, you have now finished answering all the questions. Please click next, and then I am done. Yes, I'm sure. So it gives you multiple ways to back out if you're, if you're not sure. It's been complete. And then it takes between an hour and 24 hours to get your results back, approximately. So you are welcome to um, find out at the end of the day if they've come back, or I can send you um, information about your test scores when I see you next in class.